Here we go again. Throughout history, we have been slaughtered in wide open in the public eyes, and nothing has changed. Well, the racially motivated shooting in Buffalo is impacting people well beyond New York. 10 News reporter Jacinta Render spoke to people in East Tennessee, shaken deeply by that attack hundreds of miles away. Julius Jeffries is a counselor here in Knoxville. Um, it did hit a, a personal note. I have uh, two brothers who um, reside in New York. One of his brothers lives in Buffalo. His brother was not a victim of the mass shooting, but Jeffrey says just the thought of it brings on emotions. As an African-American you know, male, I, I, I hate to think that there are people out there who would act on racism and hate to like that. On Saturday, authorities in Buffalo, New York, say an 18 year old white man dressed in military gear shot and killed 10 people at a supermarket. Investigators say the gunman researched demographics intentionally to target black people. President Joe Biden addressed the crime in a speech on Sunday and said federal Already, authorities are calling it a racially motivated hate publicly. crime and an act of it's white supremacy. Devastated because I have not grown numb to the death of our people or any people. I don't care what color you are. We are human beings. Jeffrey says although he is angry about what happened, he is trying to cope the best way he knows how. Just as there are people out there who do endorse hate, you know, racism, violence, there are people out there who advocate for the opposite, those of us who advocate for peace, for harmony. In Knoxville, I'm just in surrender. And that counselor you just heard from says if you are struggling with the events in Buffalo, talking to a therapist is a good option to help you deal with both anger and grief.